Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I am going to rank all of my Colourpop palettes. I have 28 Colourpop palettes. So I'm gonna rank them from my least favorite to my number one. <laughs> it was really, really hard, guys. I don't know if I would do this uh, in a month, maybe I would rank them differently. But this is what I feel right now and yeah, I'm super excited. If you are new here, if this is the first time here, very welcome. Uh, this channel is almost all about makeup. I love makeup, I love colorful makeup, I love neutral makeup. You're gonna see that in this eyeshadow palette ranking. I love eyeshadow palettes as well. <laughs> I mean, I have 28 uh, Colourpop palettes and I love everything about makeup and beauty. So if you enjoyed that, uh, I upload three videos a week. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here and hit that notification bell. Then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. But with that being said, and like this video if you like it, but that, <laughs> but with that being said, I mean, let's go into the ranking. By the way, I filmed this look. I don't know if it's already up. If it's up, I will leave it up. <laughs> up in the card and down below. Uh, but let's begin with this ranking. Uh, as I said, I have 28 palettes, but that is not true. I have actually have 29 palettes, but the this palette I'm gonna show you, I have custom. I have taken out a few of these shades in this palette and put in some other shades from another Colourpop palette. But this is this uh, the Midnight Masquerade palette by Disney. And it doesn't look like that, the original. I put out the shades I didn't like in this palette and I also picked uh, from the Through My Eyes palettes from Colourpop the shades I liked in that palette and put in in this palette. Oh my god, <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean. But this is the color story now and I can't rank this because this is not an existing palette. So this is just a custom palette I have done. So let's start. We have a lot to go through. Number 28. So this is in the bottom. I love pinks, but this is the palette I never use. I used it a lot when it came, the Ulala La palette. This is the pink monochromatic palette. And I don't know what it is. I don't use it anymore. I have so many pink palettes that I reach for more than this one. So that's why it is at number 28. But I don't know, my, maybe it's old now and very dry, but this shade probably is very nice, this tickle, because this is a very creamy formula. So maybe this one is good. Yeah, it has some sparkle to it, but I feel like I can't declutter this one. I don't know what it is. I have a hard time to declutter my Colourpop palettes, just saying. So, number 27, also a monochromatic palette. It's that Just My Luck palette. This is the green one. I never use this, I feel like. I, I feel like this is a little bit all over the place with the color story, because I feel like this beautiful, grungy, green, brown uh, shade goes very well with this, and actually can go very well with this lime here. That is absolutely my favorite one. But these are like minty shades. I mean, you don't have this green undertone to it. You have a very cool tone undertone and it doesn't go well with this. So I don't know what it is. I don't feel like I use this a lot. So if I use it, I use it mainly because this one and I can use this one. But yeah, I feel like it is, it could been better and the color story and the choices with the greens, but that is at number 27. Number 26 is the Main Squeeze, also a monochromatic palette, and this is the red. I love red, but I also have other red palettes I reach for more, but I used it a lot when I got it, and I feel like it's a nice summer palette for me. I don't know what it is, but reds are just like very, very happy color. So I really like the deep shade here and yeah, you have some shimmers. The shimmers are a little bit like regular shimmer, so it's not like super sparkly, but yeah, they are good. They are okay. I mean, it's not like super, super great, but uh, now we are at number 25, guys, and it's the Good Sport palette. I know a lot of people rank this like number one or very, very high, but I feel like I don't use this enough. <laughs> I don't use this and I don't know what it is, but some of the shades are super beautiful. Like for instance, these two are stunning. I don't use the gray a lot like here and the green is beautiful as well. I have purples in other, palettes so I don't reach for this when it comes to the purples 
Uh, I love the yellow gold here, but again, these are not like unique colors for me, so that's why I don't grab it. Number 24, so it's the, let me see here, let me see here. <laughs> It's the, the it's my pleasure palette. So this is the monochromatic purple palette they came up with first. So this is how it looks. This is actually really really pretty. I love this Mr. Sandman shade. It is like a super shock shadow, and also this one has a beautiful undertone. I need to use this more, but I don't know what it is with this one as well. I don't reach for this one as much, but I do want to reach for these shades. So maybe I would put it in much of my stash, but it's a beautiful palette, but I mean, I have other palettes I use more. Next up at number 23, we have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette. You can see it's a lot of these monochromatic palettes because I don't use them that much. Now I have another like favorite yellow palette. You maybe all know what it is. It's from Glam Shop. It's the Citronata palette, but I love yellow. You can see I have yellow today. Yellow is one of my favorite uh, colors. <laughs> uh, yellow, purple, and pinks. But yeah, you have a pressed glitter here. Why? But you have these beautiful shades here, actually, the shimmers. But I would love to see a little more depth in this one, but it is a pretty palette. It's just that I don't reach for it as much anymore because I have the other palette that is kind of my favorite palette. So yeah, uh, that's why. And now for number 22, it's a small palette. It's the Bambi palette. I love these palettes. I have all three of them in the series and you're going to see I'm going to rank another one a little more high up here but this is my least favorite of them because this is like a it's great quality but it's just like a brown neutral color story it's super cute I don't have anything to complain about except this shade because this doesn't do anything for me because it's kind of my skin tone as you can see so that is a waste for me waste of space but for a deeper skin tone maybe this is perfect so I will not like complain, but I'm just going to complain about how I see it on my skin tone. But it's a beautiful palette, great quality. I mean, it's so cute. I mean, come on. Just this packaging makes me so happy. <laughs> and now we have a number 21. 21 is also from the Bambi collection. This is the flower and this is the purple. Look at this color store. It's amazing. You have a deep dark, you have a mid-tone, you have a lighter, you have two shimmers, one very, very light and one like a mid-tone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I'm going to show you the next palette that is ranked up, uh, like one up, <laughs> because I had a struggle with this one and the other one, because they look kind of not the same, but they are in the same category. So at number 20 is this one, The Secret Life of Scorpio. It's a quad and it's also this like berry purple. So I'm going to put these like up here and you can see. I don't know why. I just looked at these so long and it, I came like I couldn't. I couldn't decide and then I decided that this one maybe I'm gonna rank a little bit higher because I'm using this one a little bit more. I love like the more berry tone in this one. This one is more like true purple cool tone. I just think this quad is so so pretty and it's just stunning. And Number 19. It's another monochromatic palette and it's this one, this Meant to Be. I think this is a palette that I use from time to time but it feels like <sighs> I don't use it a lot, but if I want to reach for a, like a palette that has mint, I use this one and I think it's great. So that's why it has this like ranking place because it is a beautiful palette if you want to do a mint look. It's not like everyday palette for me. I don't do these colors like every day, but if I want to do it, I love to use this. It's amazing. It's so, so pretty. You have the depth, you have these beautiful shades here like shimmers. It's just a very, very fun palette. Number 18 is another small little quad. Super cute. I am all about the cute packaging, guys. This is the Hello Kitty Teeny Keeny palette. This is the orange quad. And yeah, I have another orange palette I'm going to rank. But this one is very, very pretty. I mean, you can do a very simple look here. And yeah. I have nothing bad to say about it, but I have palettes that I use more and think maybe it has more variety. Number 17. This is a palette that 
I feel like I don't use this color that much, but if I use it, I love this palette. So it's the Blue Moon. I'm not into like blue shades on me. Sometimes I am. I need to combine it a little bit, but this is a great palette for blues. I mean, you have everything here that you want in a blue palette, and I feel like the quality is there. It's really, really nice. You have like light shades, shimmers, you have mid-tone shimmers, you have deep shimmers, and you have from light to dark mattes as well. And I just love the shades in this one, so it's a great palette. Number 16 is a palette I have rearranged a little bit, so maybe you don't recognize it inside, but it is the same shades in it. It's the So Jaded by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. Uh, and I have, as I said, I have a video up where I rearrange all these shades because I thought the layout of this palette, the original layout, was so, like, all over the place. I couldn't see, like, what I wanted to do, so I rearranged it to this. It's more calm <laughs> for the eyes, so I can see what I have here and can do looks with it. And you have a lot of variety in this palette. That's why I ranked it this high or high, I don't know what is 16. <laughs> because I I didn't like it first. I haven't used it, but then I rearranged it. I have used it more. And I feel like it's a good palette. I mean, you have a lot here that you can do and yeah, but it's a big palette though. It is big. <laughs> Number 15. Uh, yeah, this is My Little Pony palette. I love this one. I got this from uh, Paulina, Paulina Beauty. I am a collector of these ponies from the 80s. I mean, come on, they are so cute. I, I didn't buy this when they had this palette. I wasn't into makeup then, but I couldn't get it, <laughs> so she sent me this one. And it has some special memories for me because of that. And I will never get rid of this. Even if this goes bad, maybe I can pop out these and just keep the packaging because this packaging I'm never gonna get rid of. It's a very cute color story. I really love this one. I use this from time to time actually, so it's not like I have it just for collection. I like a collector, I I do use this and I think it's pretty. Number 14 is another monochromatic palette. This is a red palette. This is the wine and only palette. This is more deeper, burgundy red more sexier. I love this palette. This is so, so pretty, you guys. I mean, the shimmers, the mattes, it's deep, it's dark, it's mysterious. Love this one. Super cute palette. So if you like, like, these kinds of reds, can totally recommend this one. Next up at number 13, we have the Flutter By. This is a stunning packaging. This is so well presented. Like, what it is inside, like with the front, you can see that mauvey, purpley tones. Oh my god, look at this. This is so, so freaking pretty. I love this palette. If you want more like dusty purples, this is the palette you need. <laughs> you have a pressed glitter here. Not super happy about that. I have actually used it. It's okay, but I mean, I, I prefer my pixie ones. And yeah, what can I say? It looks pretty as you can see and it performs good as well. Number 12, guys, we are getting there. <laughs> it's the Barbie, Malibu Barbie palette. I love the Malibu Barbie collection. I have a lot from that collection and I use it also from time to time. I mean, it's not just laying there because I love the packaging because I really wanted it for, you know, a collection piece as well. But I mean, I love those products and the palette is so, so pretty, you guys. It's like Barbie in a palette. I can. I can totally see why they did like this, like it's it's so so stunning and I love they popped in some neutrals in here and you have the bright pink, the turquoise blues, uh, yeah, it's just very 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 pretty and the packaging as I said, it's so beautiful. This is also packaging I'm gonna I'm gonna save forever, I feel like. At number 11, we have a neutral palette. We have the California Love Palette. So this is a brown, warm brown uh, neutral palette with a pop of like orange. You have like orange, warm tone browns and I love that. That is my kind of vibe, like the golds and the warm browns. And yeah, you also have this glitter here. Uh, 
But I mean, if you want to do like a glam look, I mean, a glitter is not bad. It's just that I don't use Colourpop glitters that much, so... But yeah, very, very stunning palette. Good quality. I've used this so much. I love a good neutral palette. Number 10 is Orange palette, so I feel like this one is better, like... It has more variety than the... Hello Kitty palette. So it's the orange you glad. This makes me glad. <laughs> this makes me happy. Look at this color story. I mean, who doesn't get happy when you see this? It has some bright, almost neon shades here. You have some toned down uh, shades and you have the shimmers. It's so, so beautiful. And this is a chunky, chunky glitter that I don't use and I don't want near my eyes, but uh, you have two other shimmers that you can use. And I feel like it's a very, very cute palette. So now we are at number nine, guys. We are getting there now. Okay, number nine. I'm gonna put this one, the Sweet Talk. I mean, it has so much hype <laughs> a long time, uh, for a long time, I mean, and I can see why, and I love it. It has this romantic, like, peachy, corally pink color story going on, and it just looks great and I love shades like this so I am super happy I have it and I use it also from time to time. Especially at the summertime and spring I like to take this out. This is just amazing this shade. This is a super shock shadow. I love when they put in a super shock shadow because these are more sparkly and beautiful. Uh, they have two pressed glitters here but other than that they have a very nice color color story going on and some good selections of shades. You have some deeper shades, lighter shades, and you have the shimmers. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this palette. It is a very, very cute. I don't know if you can get it anymore, but I can totally recommend it if you like the color story. Now for number eight, I have a little quad. I put this one here because, I don't know, I, I have used this a little bit more lately and it just is a very, very nice quad. So this is the Bold and the Aries. It's from this Zodiac Science uh, collection, kind of. And yeah, I love peachy reds, um, coral shades, and you can see it is just like that and you have a deeper shade, you have a lighter matte and you have these two shimmers. That is absolutely stunning. And I love this glass, or it's not glass, <laughs> this see-through plastic little uh, packaging. I really, really like that. So it's super cute. And then we also have a small palette. Let's see here. Number seven. It's the Hello Kitty and this is the Pineapple Cake palette. This is the yellow palette. I think this one is super cute. This I have used a lot as well. You maybe can't see it, but I have used it and I feel like it's a very, very quick, like a quick yellow look you can do with this one and you can also combine it with other palettes. But I have just pulled this out when I do want to have like a yellow look and just want to do it very, very quickly. I have four shades here. I don't need any more. So I feel like this is a very, very cute palette. I really love it. Uh, it's super cute. Number six, guys. It's this one. This is the Whatever palette. This is also a red palette. <laughs> I have a lot of red palettes, I feel like. But this has more variety, I feel like. I mean, because you have lighter shades here and you have some deeper shades, you have, like, this one is amazing. You can see how sparkle it is. It's a super shock shadow. You have some different kind of undertones on the shimmers here. This is a pressed glitter. But you can do more variety with this palette and I absolutely love this one. It's stunning and it's so so good. So the, definitely this one is one of my favorite. This is my favorite red palette from Colourpop. I have I had the main squeeze and I had the wine and only. But this one, definitely better because you have more variety. Number five, guys. Oh my god, we are at the top five now. I am going to uh, take this one. This is the Going Coconuts by Colourpop. And of course it's Colourpop. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid of me. <laughs> this is the neutral palette that I absolutely love and adore. I mean, look at this. It has everything. It is more on the neutral side. You can see, like, it's more... It's not super cold tone, but it's not warm either. It's somewhere in between. I feel like 
it has not like a very neutral undertone to it and I feel like you can go if you mix in a warmer brown in this one you can go warmer if you take a little more cool tone you can go cool tone so I feel like it's a super neutral color story here but you have like deeper to lighter and you have this row here with the shimmers you can see like this one is more like a set, like a, not a satin, this is a sequin shadow, but this, these are the shimmers and this middle shade is one of my favorite shades. This is like a neutral, but it's so, so sparkly. It is like super sparkly and I love to use that one. It's so pretty and this has surprised me, but I love this palette so much. Number four, guys. It's the last Bambi palette. This is the Thumper. This is so pretty, you guys. Look at this color story. I needed to rank this high up because I love this little palette. It has everything. If you like these dusty, purpley shades, uh, you have three of those. And you have a really deep, dark one here. It's more like a sequin, but it is stunning. And you have two shimmers here. This one is a pink one, and this one is a green. It goes so well together. This is an amazing little palette. I love to use it. I get so happy when I use it and also I am so happy with this like packaging. It's so so cute. I really really enjoy this one so much. Oh my god guys, I have three palettes here. That is my absolute favorite ones. Can you guess? Can you guess the three ones I have left here? Number three is one of my newer Colourpop palettes that just has surprised me a lot because I bought this just because of the theme. I know. Well, the color story looks pretty, but this surprises me a lot that I loved it so much. Maybe not surprises me because I thought I'm probably going to use this because it's neutrals, but it is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I love Christmas. I am a Christmas freak. So when they came out with this one, I just knew I needed to get it. And I, of course, I love the color story like this, like a neutral, but I thought, yeah, it's a neutral with a little twist, a little red, a little green, but I have used this so much. It's so good you guys because you have so many deep shades here and you have some midtone shades as well and you can go a lot like different ways here you can go with the greens you can go with the more red a little bit pink here and also this one and more neutral and brown this is so so freaking pretty and you have a great inner corner shade here this is great quality it's beautiful it's I love the packaging. It's very heavy. It feels like it's not like it's cardboard, but it feels like it's a little weight to it. So it feels a little more luxurious. <laughs> I don't know if you can say I luxurious with Colourpop, but you know what I mean? It had a little weight to it. So I do love this one so much and it's so cute. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at the packaging. But it actually surprised me how much I've used this and how good it is. Number two, guys. We have two palettes left. Number two. Number two is the monochromatic purple palette, the latest one. Well, it's <laughs> it's a lie like you a lot. It was, uh, I don't know when they released these, two years ago or something, but they haven't released, I think, maybe they have released. They released so much, but this anyway is in this packaging and this is the lie like you a lot. This is how it looks. I love this palette. I grab it from time to time. I do love when I want to do a purple look, especially these lilac-y purples that I absolutely love. I grab this palette. It's amazing. It's stunning. It's so, so pretty. It's good quality. I love this shade. I always say that, but I love this shade. I love the shimmers here. Have nothing bad to say about this. Amazing, beautiful, stunning. Number one, guys. Number one, number one, number one. Can you guess which palette it is? It's the Limoncello palette. This I was also very surprised about that I love so much. I don't know what it is. It is a neutral palette. Look at this front for the, I mean, look, yellow, <laughs> yellow um, lemons, love lemons, love Limoncello, <laughs> love Italy. Okay, so this is like, a beautiful, beautiful neutral palette with a little bit of a twist. You have green, you have yellow, you have blue. That is not like super neutrals. <laughs> but 
everything goes so well together. You can do so many fun and beautiful and stunning looks. I have used it and used it so much. And I had it on my summer vacation trip last year, like last summer, and I used it so much. I, I just felt like I was so happy when I opened it up and I did some beautiful looks. And as I said, you can go like yellow, you can go a little more green, you can use the blue if you want, you can do some neutrals. I, this is just an amazing, amazing quality, amazing palette, and a beautiful color story. Everything about it is beautiful. It also has some weight to it. I feel like this pack, and it, it's erased here, like it has some structure to it. It's just beautiful. I totally recommend this one as well if you like the color story. I think they have it still. Not sure though. But oh my god, this was it guys. This was me ranking all of my Colourpop palettes. Which one is your favorite Colourpop palette? Tell me down below. And did you think I would choose this one for my number one? Tell me down below, if you know me, of course. If you don't, <laughs> if you haven't been here, you probably don't know anything about me, but uh, it would be fun to hear your, like, what did you think I would pick. And tell me down below, which one is your favorite Colourpop palette? I'm so curious, you guys, and I'm so happy you have been here with me. I really hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.